Hey guys, I'm making a response to Alpha Investments uh, $10,000 booster box opening uh, revised. First thing is, I'll just summarize what happened. Open Boosters is at GP Las Vegas, Rudy is filming, and they're at the Vintage Magic booth. He's opening booster packs, you can go watch the video, and the booster packs do not have rares in them. They don't even have the right amount of uncommons. There's clearly some mistake with the booster pack. The booster packs have either been searched, tampered with, or there's a manufacturer error. I played during revised. I can't remember there ever being a manufacturing error on revised. So I'll just put that out there. Um, I, I did some research to see if this is it's possible to have a booster box. Now, some of it had rares. Nightmare was one of the rares but the rares were not very good. There are a few different conclusions you can draw and they stem from who, where the box came from. Did the box come from Rudy? Did the box come from Vintage Magic? Or did the box come from Open Boosters when he bought a large Magic collection back in the day and the previous store owner had actually searched and or tampered with it? The scary part is you have three experts in boxes, older boxes, and neither none of them knew that the box was tampered with. So they thought, Rudy says the seal is legit. I mean, you have Vintage Magic who sells old booster boxes. You have Rudy who collects and hoards old booster boxes. And you have Open Booster who opens old booster boxes. And none of them could tell from the seal or the packs that something was wrong. They only could tell when they were missing the rares. And even then, there was comments on, you know, you know, is it tampered? Is it not? There's still questions around the tampering. But in my opinion, given what was pulled, very bulky, and given the fact that even the uncommons were replaced, some of the uncommons were replaced by land, this was a tampered box. I do not know of any manufacturing issues to revised, especially given the fact that the uncommons, so they come from different sheets, right? The rare is in on, on a different sheet. So theoretically, it may be possible, but for the uncommons to also be common at random points, and for the booster pack, for the booster box to have booster packs with rares and uncommons like the, it should, I think the probability is very low. There's a manufacturing error, which brings the interesting issue of who tampered with it. Now, I will go ahead and say that um, I do not believe Vintage Magic, had he sold it to Open Boosters, would have tampered with it, mainly because he knows it's going to be opened on camera. It would be not a wise decision to sell a booster box that you know is tampered that will be opened on camera and put on Rudy's channel. That is not something any business would want to be associated with. So I don't think Daniel knew that it was tampered with because it would be just ridiculously silly for you to sell a tampered box that you know is going to be filmed by a big YouTube channel that you know will be uploaded by another larger YouTube channel as well. Now, Rudy, I don't think he is much involved, and you can kind of tell from his tone that uh, Open Boosters seems upset. And if you spent $10,000 on a box and it was tampered with, you would be upset as well. Rudy seems a little loof. Like he seems, he's mentioning that, oh, you know, maybe uh, it's a manufacturing era. I, I don't think that he is uh, that invested in the box. So I believe that uh, he did not sell the box to Open Boosters, which leaves the other possibility of Open Boosters maybe buying a box a long time ago, keeping in storage, and then opening it today. Uh, this could also be the case with uh, Vintage Magic. He could have bought a box that he didn't know was tampered with, Again, you have three of the leading experts in old boxes that people, these people handle old boxes all the time, and none of them had, none of them could see any problems with the seal of the box, which, you know, it's quite interesting, right? So as a store owner, this scares me a lot.
Uh, it scares me a lot. Um, I cannot imagine buying $10,000 booster box and having this experience for the customer because the customer is definitely going to ask for their money back. There's no doubt in my mind that if the customer opened in a camera and could show proof, not only would you have to give them the money back for fraud, but you would have to, uh, your reputation would be just absolutely destroyed. Uh, you would have uh, very little recourse in terms of, oh, I didn't know, because you're the buyer. When you buy something, if I buy something to sell and that product isn't what was promised, but I didn't know, let's say I buy a counterfeit card and I sell it. I have to refund them the money and I have to take the reputation hit because it's on me to confirm that it is not a counterfeit. So as soon as I buy it, it is now my responsibility because I chose to buy it. The same of a booster pack. Um, I have been buying lots and lots of booster packs. I want to make sure that they are not searched. That's why I don't like open boxes. Um, a lot of times you will get an offer, at least I'll get an offer to buy like half a box or 75% of a box. Um, it's whatever's remaining. And these are older booster packs. Um, I had the opportunity to buy 25 booster packs of uh, Zendikar, but I had such a bad experience with my Innistrad. And you can kind of see the Innistrad uh, videos. Uh, nothing good was pulled from Innistrad. Uh, it was box mapped. Um, I will just be point blank and tell you that if there is an open booster box of Innistrad or something older, it has been mapped and you're not going to get any fetch lands. You're not going to get Lily or Snap. And I've shown that to you, right? I've shown that over and over again uh, with Walmart or Target or Walgreens or wherever you're buying these loose booster packs from, they have been mapped. And I that's why I like the blister packs because it's harder to map them when they're not in a set. You can only map them as a box. So am I surprised that this type of stuff exists in our community? Absolutely not. I am very disappointed. Um, you can hear the open boosters kind of, you know, I mean, $10,000 is a lot for anyone. And especially when you're thinking, oh, I'm going to have a really fun opening and this large crowd and then you open it, it's a nightmare. You think, okay, whatever, let's open some more. Then you open another one, there's no rare. You open another pack, second pack, there's no rare. You open third pack, there's no rare. And the uncommons are all different. There was, There's a problem with this. Um, there's a problem with this booster box. There's no arguing that. Uh, now, where the problem came from, who's responsible for the problem, I would suggest that's the interesting part, right? As a store owner, I want to know what happened after, like who took responsibility, who said, oh, okay, my bad, let me give you a refund, let me not give you a refund, I mean, who sold it, where did it come from, how come it tricked these free experts, and that really tells you that even tampering and stuff did exist back then, and even without the technology we have today, it worked, it still works today. But yeah, that would be my biggest fear. I have learned not to buy loose booster packs. I bought a bunch of loose Innistrad booster packs, opened them all, nothing of value. It was nothing, not a single one of value. And it was like, okay. Now, do I think the the booster packs were tampered with themselves? No, there's no reason to do that. Innistrad is an easily boxable set. So what happened was people open boxes, they take out, you know, whatever the five, 10 packs that are valuable at the time, which would always be Lily and Snap. And then you're left with like zombies and <laughs> vampires. And, uh, the only exception I've seen is the foils. I think the foils are much less mappable. Now people could scale them, but I don't think people would do that when it's so easy to map out. So uh, when I was buying from Target and Amazon and Best Buy and all these, not Best Buy, that's Pokemon all these places, I knew that it was mapped. I bought it anyway, just to show that it was mapped. Now it turned out Target, actually I pulled a JST Mind Sculptor from my Masters 25. So maybe Target doesn't map it, but Walmart, I've done enough pack openings for Walmart, or if you buy locally, uh, you, eBay, like these cards, um, you're gonna get hosed. And I wanted to see if it was really uh, add if it would happen. So 
Uh, the reason is you can buy these packs cheaper because of it, and you're taking a risk. So that cheapness, that um, price savings is accounted by the risk you're taking. So you must be okay with that. I don't know. Um, it is pretty insane that someone like Open Boosters or I don't know, uh, somebody bought this booster box uh, for $10,000 or it's worth $10,000. And if they kept it sealed and sold it to someone else, it would be really bad, but they would have gotten the money. It's very scary. Like you have to worry about this a lot as a store owner, because if I bought this box and I sold it to Open Boosters, I would refund him the money, absolutely. It would be 100% my responsibility because as soon as I buy the box, I have to assure that it is a real box. And that's why I'm very careful when I buy stuff. You have to pick your distributors, you have to pick your vendors very well. And I've noticed um, even on DVDs I bought, uh, one of the DVDs was Infinite Wars and the code was already used. So I don't have a Blu-ray to test my DVDs. The other DVDs, the codes all worked fine because I tested about 18, I tested all of them for my own collection. But you have to be really careful because people can steal, seal DVDs too, take out the digital code, put it in, get their movie, and then you don't have the code, uh, which is happening a lot. So you gotta be careful about your vendors. So I definitely need to talk to my vendor about that issue because it's kind of like this issue so on the Blu-rays, they have a digital code. And if you enter the digital code, it gives you a copy of the movie. But you can only use the digital code one time. So if you were to open the movie, use the code, you have the movie now, reseal it, and then sell it as new, you would make a lot of money. And I think that's what happened to me as a customer or as a, a distributor. But that's on me. So I test everything. I test all the products to make sure they are legit, they are real. And as soon as that came, happened, I'm not going to sell any more DVDs because I can't in good conscience do that. Anyway, bye guys.